Hello everyone, I'm known as Geese, this is a special edition of Komodo Firewall. How to allow and block applications. Yes, this is Kermit the Frog, if you are wondering. Okay, so if you do not have the correct version of Komodo, you need to download the latest version, which is 6.1. Please go to the Komodo Firewall. I will have a link in the bottom of the description to go directly there. It should automatically download when you click on the link. Once you have downloaded and installed and restarted your computer, you want to go ahead and go to your taskbar area. Right click, open. You want to go to task. Then you want to go to firewall task. Here you will see uh, different types of sections you will you could customize for your firewall. Here is an allow application. This basically what it says is it allows your applications or block your applications. This is for your stealth ports. If you want to, for example, you want to host a server or you want to hack, let's say. You do not hear from me, you did not hear from Kermit the Frog. So, Stealth Ports is pretty much, allows your port to be open, but it shows it to other programs or other people that has been blocked. Yes, it's like a ninja stealth port where you can just go around up in the internet and know the people's business. It's not what it's for, it's just for you to be protected in different ways. Okay, now, for example, I will block a specific program. I will block DXDIAG it's because it's the only thing that comes to my mind that I would like to block right now. Uh, let's see, DXDIAG. Now, it will not tell you if it's been blocked or not. Now, if you want to know if it's been blocked, you want to go to Open Advanced Settings. You want to go to Application Rules. You want to click on the plus sign, and it will tell you block and log all requests. Now, we know that it's been blocked. Now, if you have a block, applications settings here you want to go ahead and right click remove and then again right click remove now your applications that you have been that you have blocked will no longer be blocked there are other applications here that have been allowed and blocked from your previous install you want you don't want to mess with anything else because if you mess with something else and you don't know if it's a virus or not you will pretty much mess up your computer. So just follow just the way I tell you. You want to go ahead and click OK. Do not cancel. Click OK. Now if you want to have, uh, allow an application, it's pretty much the same thing for blocked application. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, allow and block applications. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing less. It's very simple. Very easy. If you have any problems with the com computer and if you want me to help you with your problem and there's no other videos on YouTube that explains how to fix your problem, just let me know and I will try to say, how do you say it, uh, not to say, to reenact the problem. I will try to find a way to create the problem within my VMware operating system. And if I can find a way around it, I will upload it on YouTube within either a couple of hours, depending how big the video is, how long it takes me to fix it. It would be either from half an hour to an hour, if not two hours. Most videos that I upload, tutorials and do it to yourself, are usually from 5 to 15 minutes, and they're usually from 30 to 40 megs. So my internet upload speed is 65 kilobytes per second, and if you can only imagine, what, if you know what 65 kilobytes per second is, pretty damn slow. So guys, um, as I said, problems. Let me know. I'll try to fix it. On my end, I'll try to uh, 
create that problem, try to fix it, and upload it very soon. I, this is for a, a guy who has left a comment on one of my previous videos because he has done a no-no. So, yeah, I am uploading this video fast as possible. Again, guys, um, problems, let me know, and I'll try to fix them for you and try to break it down for you a way that you guys can understand. Comment, rate, subscribe. That would help me to keep this video, this keep this YouTube channel alive. And it keeps me going, making more videos, and keeps this YouTube channel where placed people can go and have things fixed for them or things that they don't know how to do. And as well, I do have gaming video footage. I do have right now Bioshock Infinite and Tomb Raider tw through 2013. It's on my computer, but each file is about 10 to 11 gigs big. I cannot upload it here because it takes too damn long. Yes, Sesame Street Puppet gone wrong. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is Nervous Geeks, and I hope you like this edition of Carmenta Frog. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.